Right now we're going to talk about a new technology, a newer technology called NFC. Joining us is Timmy Moore. How are you doing, Timmy? Good. How are you? Always nice to see you. I'm very good. Always nice to see you. And you'd emailed us about this technology yesterday, mm -hmm. and it sounds like a really neat thing, but it's been around for a couple years. It has. It's been around for a couple years. Um, smartphones are now just starting to adapt this type of hardware. Mm -hmm. What NFC stands for is near field communication. So, but what you can basically do with the technology is there's this little chip that lives inside your phone, mm -hmm. and you can use it to tap two phones together to transfer documents, photos, instead of having to maybe text the person the photo, maybe, or do any type of, like, Bluetooth sharing. You can literally just tap the two phones together. Both phones will recognize each other, and you'll literally touch the screen, and it'll really, it's called Beam. Mm -hmm. It'll literally beam it to the other device. See, so, you now, right away, when I hear about this technology, I think there's got to be some type of security yes. concern. Somebody can just come up and tap your phone. Is it, they can tap it as long as it's unlocked? There, that... there are some security, uh, uh, Issues, type of, maybe? There are little issues, but basically what they try to do, like, uh, for example, Google Wallet. Mm -hmm. Google Wallet is a credit card application. You put all your credit cards into this one application. Now, it sounds kind of scary. You're like, <laughs> somebody can just tap yeah. up to you, make a transaction. Really? As you can see right there, there's a pin code lock, so you can't use Google Wallet until you enter a pin code. Okay. So it's encrypted. You've got all those security features. Same thing goes with the device. If I try to tap these two phones together, nothing's going to happen because okay. the phones are both locked, if, even if they don't have a passcode. Mm -hmm. If the screen is off, the, the chip on the inside is not activated. Now, what phones is this offered on? Because I know on iPhones, mm -hmm. there, it's not offered yet. It is not offered on iPhones. It was rumored that it would come in the 5, but we didn't see anything like that. Uh, Google's devices all come with uh, NFC. They actually, Google was the very first one to start pushing this technology, obviously, because they have a product yeah. that's going to require it. But um, Google's devices come with it. Uh, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3, that comes with it. Uh, Samsung did some tweaks, so there are some little extra features that you get on this device. But uh, I know the HTC One has all the, uh, has NFC capabilities. S smartphones that are going to release in 2013 are going to have this uh, NFC feature. All right. I want to talk a little bit more about Google mm -hmm, Wallet. Sure. Um, so places like McDonald's are already using this. They right? are. Um, you probably, when you go to swipe your card, you probably notice that little pay pass, that little black mm -hmm. kind of device yeah. above the card swipe. And you're probably like, what is that? This is what it's for. Um, when you got a credit card, they, there was a little NFC chip in it, mm -hmm. but really it wasn't adopted. Nobody really started using it until like Google Wallet now, and there's ISIS mobile wallet that the carriers are starting to push. So there is competition. Literally, you can go up, and I can demo this here in a sec, but the same thing is pretend this is um, one of the uh, devices on top of that credit card swipe. You open Google Wallet on here, don't even take out your wallet. Just tap your phone, done. You just paid for it instantly. Oh, I like it. So, okay, do you know of, like where else they're using it? McDonald's? Like, is, is there kind of a list that I could you could find? There is a on list. Where Google's wallet. These? Uh, it'll say how it works, uh, why you want it, and help. There are some. Uh, they'll have obviously they're trying to promote it. So here's yeah. where you can use it. I know gas stations are starting to adapt it too. Restaurants are a little bit trickier mm -hmm. because you have the waiter or waitress coming up to you. You can't yeah. hand them your phone and go and pay. <laughs> right. So I'm sure they'll they'll figure something out for that. But Gas stations, uh, McDonald's, obviously, because that's uh, self-serve. You can go off. Do you think that the next generation of iPhone is going to have the this That is technology? a good question. If you had to guess. Maybe they're they're probably going to do something with it because Apple. When you put in a technology with Apple, mm -hmm. you have all those millions and millions of users that are now exposed to that technology. That's the beauty of Apple. They can push this technology whenever yeah. they want to. If it starts to become adopted, Google's been pushing, and Google is a very big company too, so they can really make that push. Yeah. I would think they were going to do something like they kind of did something with Passbook. Mm -hmm. Passbook's where you can scan a barcode, but it's really not the same as literally touching the yeah. two together. Absolutely. So maybe we don't know yet. A lot of good information there. Yes. Timmy, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, I do have a Twitter, uh, Timothy M. Jr. If they would like to tweet me uh, which phone has NFC, I'd be happy to help. All right, sounds good. Really appreciate it, Timmy. We will see you next week. Yes.